a local non-governmental organization called Keeper Zambia Foundation has come up with a water treatment solution using solar. The program is called Solar Water Disinfection. This program is in line with government plan of meeting the Millennium Development Goals of providing safe water by 2015. The program is targeting people in peri-urban areas who have no access to pipe water. This pilot project is being implemented in Ngombe compound in Lusaka and a few selected villages in Senanga district of Western Province. And speaking after the observation tour, the acting provincial medical officer for Western Province, Dr. Jongo, said it was a good initiative in providing safe water to people, but water has to be treated before it's declared to be safe. He also urged people to use a combination of available methods to make water safe for drinking to curb diarrhea diseases. I've just been observing the, the program here in Kaye and in Senanga. And uh, as, a, as a medical doctor, just a practitioner, I think this is a fairly good initiative to try and provide uh, safe drinking water in this community. But uh, maybe what I would add is that uh, Safe water can only be determined after we have actually tested it. We will ensure that the water is, is tested and then we can call it safe. So when we have these initiatives, I think it's important that water sampling is done so that we are absolutely sure that the water that we are calling safe is actually safe. But additionally, I think to the community in Kaya is uh, one of the things that I would probably add is to say that uh, there are other methods in which, which we can use to, to make the water safe for drinking. One of which is, is boiling, one of which is chlorination. And also the aspect of hand washing is also important. I think at this time of the year when you have uh, most water points get flooded and get contaminated with water that is running around, I think it's important that um, we use a combination of, of available methods to try and make the water safe for drinking so that we can reduce on diarrhea diseases. And speaking to Zambian News and Information Services, Zanis, from his office, project manager Mr. Ezra Brian Banda said that solar water disinfection is a pilot project and they have targeted 2,500 2, households in Senanga selected villages and that Keeper Zambia Foundation is working closely with the local council and the Ministry of Health. Uh, the way it is operating is that uh, we are targeting the people in the Peraban who are not under tap water. So we are targeting those people who have uh, unpurified water. Uh, so this is, is just one of the technologies, among other technologies which people are using. You know, people can purify water by boiling or chlorinating. But I think uh, all, um, uh, all technologies have got their own advantages and disadvantages. Uh, I would maybe want to, to concentrate more on the so this. Uh, so this, uh, it's much easier and manageable uh, a technology uh, given to the people in the rural community in that oh, what you need is a clear, petty uh, bottle, you fill it with water and then you expose it on the sunlight. For the people we're working with, we are emphasizing that uh, it should be there. If they put it at 8, they should be able to remove it around 16 hours. Otherwise, for people who are very mindful of time, it should last for about six hours. So basically, we're looking at it that there is no much labor in it, and one, it does not change any taste. So there is quite very easy for an ordinary person to, to actually use it. Uh, that's, that's the part which I could concentrate on. Then in terms of uh, 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 the health impact, I think we are working closely with the Minister of Health to look into that, and uh, we are still uh, carrying out an assessment because basically, is that uh, when you look at the water related diseases, that's what our focus will be whether we want, we want to gauge how far it has gone in terms of reducing those diarrhea diseases among the targeted households in the areas. Uh, currently, the project is in uh, Lukanda and Kaya areas. And we call this project as a Manambini East project, uh, targeting 2,500 households in the whole area of Senanga district. 
So basically, this is how it is, and then it has been learning. Uh, we, we started the project in January, uh, and it's a, it's a 12 months project, which we are piloting, hoping we shall learn from the results and be able to replicate it in the next season. And that's how we're looking at it. And one of the beneficiaries of the project said they have seen a reduction in their year related diseases since the inception of the program. <laughs> Afukuze